welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna do a full face of makeup using only e.l.f. makeup products. I don't have like every single makeup item, but I do have a lot. So let's see what we can do. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so first step I would use in my e.l.f. makeup collection would be this. It's an e.l.f. Um, daily dew stick in the shade scent whatever cool berry i really like this because it's like i've used this a lot it's like very like moisturizing i use this like before primer as like a sort of like a moisturizer thing i like putting it under my eyes my forehead it's also really nice like kind of like a it's kind of like shimmery but it's not it just has like this glowy effect i'll show you guys on my hand do you guys see that it's really really pretty though so I just like to blend that out. Okay, now for primer. I have a bunch of e.l.f. primers. So first one I ever got was this one, the e.l.f. Hydrating Facial Face Primer. This one's really good. I remember loving this one so much, but I think for today I'm going to use the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. But also I have, oh my god, I have so many. I have the Power Grip Primer and then also the Power Grip Plus Nice Cinnamon Powder. This one is so good. You could tell this one's literally almost done and then this one has been used. Then I also have the, um, I have three of the Putty Primers. I have the Matte Putty Primer. I have the Luminous Putty Primer and I also have the Poreless Putty Primer. I do really like the matte one for like a really matte look and then the poreless one just, I this one I actually love so so much for like it blocks out all my pores. So I'm actually going to use this one first on like my nose area. Okay, then I'm going to put the um, e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. I've been loving this so much. I also like love the scent of it. And it's such a nice sticky primer. So I was like dabbing that on top. Oh my god, it smells so good. Next step, I love to use the um, e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. So I do have two different shades. I have it in shade um, Light Medium and shade Fair because this is like my winter shade and this is my like summer shade. So since it's like almost summer, I'm gonna like mix them a bit. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this. And then a little bit of the other one. I love these so much. I love how it's like glowy and really pretty. And I just blend this out either with like a brush or a beauty blender. I don't have an e.l.f. Um, beauty blender to use, but I'll just use this giant one that I have. Like, I would usually do concealer and stuff, but I don't have a concealer, an e.l.f. concealer I used to. I don't know what happened to it, but I do have these powders, which I don't need to use because I'm not using concealer. But I do have the um, Halo Go setting powder, and I have the HD um, powder. I think this is, like, the like glittery one. I don't know why. Is it? Yeah, this is, like, the glittery one that looks, like, everywhere but this is a really cool powder i got this a long time ago i'm obsessed with like glittery stuff so yeah so we're gonna skip that we're gonna move on to bronzer slash like contour so i have this elf putty bronzer and this is really i'm not sure what shape this is in i've used this like a lot it's not it didn't hit like the pan yet like the bottom but it is a really good bronzer. I used to use it a lot. Just, I have so many other ones I like better. But I should start using this again because it's actually really nice. So I don't have an e.l.f. brush. I thought I did, but I don't. I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush and put 
on my bronzer. Next up would be blush. And for blush, I have two blushes actually i have the elf putty blush and i have the um elf liquid blush camo liquid blush so these two i think i'm gonna go for this one for my more of like a sun like suntan type of vibe this is the other one i really like this one as well it's also very pretty pinkish blush but i think i'm gonna go for the liquid blush i'm gonna use very little bit because this is like very pigmented and this is in shade what shade is this? Shade, I think Dusty Rose. Yeah, this is in shade Dusty Rose. It's a really pretty color and literally need very little of this. Like that's, I think that's literally even too much, but let's see. I just blend it out with this brush. Like, oh my God, do you guys see that? That's crazy. <laughs> I always forget how pretty this blush is. I literally love it. I'm gonna blend it out a bit with this um, beauty blender just so it's like a little more melted into my skin. I'm gonna also apply a little bit of the putty blush because it's like more pink and I love pink blush with more of like a sun-kissed orangey type of blush. So I'm gonna just apply a little bit of this right here. next step i would do i think my like face is all done i don't don't think i have an elf highlighter which is so weird i did not think about do they even have highlighter i feel like they do or they don't i don't know but um next step i mean i could use this as a highlighter but this is like a glitter i have this like glitter it's really pretty for the eyes, but let's see if I can maybe use one of these. I saw these like elf shadow sticks. I think I'm gonna use one of these as a highlighter. Let's see if I can use this one. No, it's a little bit too dark. Be this one. Yeah, this looks better. Let's see if it works. Just a little bit. Oh wait, I feel like it's kind of working. Do you see that? A little bit, sort of. The blush is kind of glowy. So it's kind of fun. Pretty as a highlighter. I'm just gonna blend it out a bit with my beauty blender. For my final, like, not final set, final, like, my base, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Um, Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. I do have another setting spray, but I think I gave that one to my mom. It's the, um, I think it's like the matte one. It's like a black bottle. It's really good as well. But this one has been my favorite. So I'm going to use this one today. I love how this smells too. And it's so good. I love also when I have like a little ball inside to shake it. I think I forgot to shake it. Whatever, that's fine. So I just let my face dry up a bit. And I just love how it makes melts all my makeup together into my skin and it feels and looks amazing okay next step i think since i do have some like eye products i think i'm gonna try to use them i also have um these two eyeliners i have a black one and a brown one so i think see what i can do with these and yeah so let's see I think I'm gonna use, hmm. I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna do a little black eyeliner and like smudge it a bit. So let's see how that goes. Thousands, like I look a little bit, so I'm gonna do the same thing on my other eye. 
I think it's good for my eyes. And then I'm gonna also try to add one of these. I just, I don't know which one yet, I'm thinking. I'm gonna do the same thing I did for my highlighter because these are a little bit, maybe should I add a little bit of a brown in there? Okay, I'm gonna see what I can do. This shadow stick is really hard to use. Like I'm trying to, maybe if I put it on the back of my hand, it will be like a little better. So I'm gonna, boom. Oh, it just broke. Okay, that kind of worked a little, sort of. Just, I want it to be like a little more like shiny. Maybe I could use, oh, no, that's not the one. Maybe I could use this one. This one's like so pretty though, I don't want to ruin it. Okay, I'm just gonna try to put it in the back of my hand. Like that. Let's see if that works. It kinda works, I don't know if you guys can see it, but... Sort of. Let's ignore my... Oop, let's ignore my eyebrows, but you could kind of see the glitter. Oh my god, that's actually so pretty. It's just from far and like... In my mirror, I can see it, but you guys tell me if you can see it a little bit. Yeah, I think you guys can see a bit of it. It's kind of pretty, sort of. But let's move on. So, next thing I would do would be my eyebrows, I think. Yeah, so for eyebrows, I have these two products. I haven't used them in a long time, but I did used to love this pencil. And this for eyebrow gel, I didn't like it, but I did like the a lash part. As you can tell, I use the lash part more than I use the brow gel. I like using it for like when I don't want to wear mascara and I just want to wear like this lash mascara type of thing. It looks really nice and like natural. So yeah, I'm just gonna use the brow gel because it's the only e.l.f. brow gel I have. I don't even know if they have any other ones, but first start off with this pencil. almost forgot that i have the elf um brow lift i used to i use this a few times but i don't like it so much i don't like feeling like my eyebrows being so sticky but my mom does use this for like really like curly eyebrows and it works and it keeps them in place it just not for me it doesn't work for me but it's it's a pretty good product and i'm gonna use the brow gel so i'm gonna use this one so let's see how this is i really whoa it's like new did i even like touch the brow part i don't think i did so let's see maybe i'll like it again i'll use it but it feels very wet and sticky and i don't like that at all i like what i when it's like when i don't feel it on my eyebrows so much like i feel this it's like wet and sticky yeah, that's like the reason why I never like the brow gel side of this one. That's the brows. It's like, okay. It was kind of hard to shape them and stuff. But I'm actually kind of happy with it. The color is a little off. I, mean, I don't know. I don't, I haven't been using brow pencils to fill in. I kind of been liking my natural brows and just putting eyebrow gel on and shaping them. So yeah, so I haven't been really doing that. So next, let's see, next step would be my mascara. For mascara, I don't have an e.l.f. mascara, which I've been looking for one, like the tubey one and the brown one. I really want to find it. I don't know, Target, I think, might have it if I order it online because I never find it in store. Um. So yeah, so for mascara, I'm just going to use, I actually do have an e.l.f. curling. It's so gross, Cur eyelash curler. But yeah, I know it's pink. I just changed the inside because mine was bad. So yeah, it's got these little pink ones. And I'm just gonna curl my lashes and use the telescopic mascara. So I'll be right back. Okay, so that's it for my mascara. 
I think it looks pretty good. I want to put like a highlighter on my brow bone. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. shadow stick and see if that works. So let's see. <laughs> It's actually it kind of worked. It really carved out my brow on this one. This one I need to work on a bit. That's actually so pretty. I love that. Okay, next step and like my final step with my lips. So I didn't realize I really don't have any e.l.f. lip liners. I knew they. I know they just came out with um new e.l.f. lip liners. So I do have to get those to review them and see if I like them. But I do have this brown eyeliner. So I guess I'll use that on my lips. And for like lipstick or lip gloss, I do have lip glosses. Okay, so I do have, oh my god, I didn't realize how many I have. I have four of these e.l.f. lip lacquers. So this one is like in the actual shade Whisper Pink, which is a really nice one. This is the clear one. I love it. I love that they're not so sticky. And then this once was the clear one. And this once was the clear one with the glitter. And it just became pink because I would put on double lipstick. And I went and clean the applicators. Really bad. I don't do that anymore. I keep mine really, really nice and clean. So I'm going to put the brown lip liner. Oh my god, I hope this looks good. I'm going to kind of blend it out and stuff. So let's see how this goes. I messed up my top lip completely. I look so funny. I never used like really dark lip liners but i'm gonna try to fix this and blend it out and see how this goes okay honestly i think that came out pretty good it's like an ombre lip and i'm gonna put the um whisper pink is that what it's called whisper paint lip gloss like on the center and see how that looks oh that's so pretty okay so that's it for my video with only using elf makeup products i think it came out looking pretty good like i'm actually really happy with the look even though i didn't have like concealer and some products i would rather use I think it came out really pretty and e.l.f. is such a good brand and they can try all their new stuff that they have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video so please leave a like and subscribe and yeah, bye guys.